Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to continue our playthrough, immersive, immersive story playthrough on Life is Strange and today we are going to start our second episode of the game but before we do I just want to thank everyone that is supporting the series and I want to let you guys know that I've been to uh, an event uh, last uh, on the last weekend and I have a vlog that I will put out every Sunday uh, not Sunday Saturday yeah every Saturday at 10 a.m. British summertime I will post a, a new vlog it will be free vlogs so make sure to stay tuned for that subscribe activate the notification bells for um, no exactly when I post because I know there's different time zones and everything but I don't want to extend myself too much on this so let's go to continue and let's go to the second episode oh this is going to be quite sad in the previous episode of life is strange get that gun away from me psycho no Film little pieces what of the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max? Tell me everything. Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Who? The pressure. Okay. I love these songs. Episode 2 Out of Time I just want to stay here listening to the song. Not a bad idea. And I guess I have to get up, don't I? Don't I? Okay. I want to enjoy the moment. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. 
Well, make the bed. I'm so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Let's read the messages. So, when did this start? Okay, here. You there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in the time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smart ass. And I need your help. I like when you told Step Dork it was your weed. But for reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at two whales, my treat. Sold. It's good to have minions. <laughs> Got a bail, master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji? <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. <laughs> on my way, you're evil. 14 minutes or else. Whoa. And any more SMS? Yes, for mom. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell Honor student in... Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so you can talk about this, ma'am. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't run it either. I don't rem... Did I water the plant in the last episode? I think so. Okay, we've seen this one. Did we check this one? Okay, we did. We haven't s read this one, so I'm going to read it. So Chloe, ne Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It told my sense, but I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange when our lives have gone since the last time we hung, hang out when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare. Or duskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm, except this time I was fo following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in his path, and again I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town. Then Chloe snapped me out of the dream and I told her what I saw, and has it to make the day and on another unusual note snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset it felt so weird ominous and beautiful all at once especially standing there with my best friend and on that positive thought i have officially earned a great night's sleep okay even with all this crazy shit going on it is so cool having chloe back in my life check the journal like Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. No, we somebody English. Somebody she has severe depression. Wait, she Hoida. has... She has classes that start at 10 a.m.? And she doesn't have English? Oh, that's a lucky move. Wish I had... Anything like that. I have school at 8. Good morning, Lee. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. I will not water you because I think I will kill you if I do this. Let's take a selfie. No smile. Take your power seriously. <laughs> Morning sleeping selfie. 
Always those weird faces. Hey! It's a morning selfie. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. <laughs> oh, so this is, a, is an email with... The movies for her to check out. The Time Machine, the 1960s version. Oh, that film is cool. And the only one I know. Okay. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. No, she's not. You have to do what you want to do. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Well, probably not. Take. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. I think a controller would be the best, but I like to be the crazy one that plays with keyboard. Don't forget, I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it. Consider it done. Wasn't listen every anything. Come on. Ow. Really already? Warren. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Now, just one thing. Who is the person that, if you say, stand over there and that people, that person goes over there? And, well, if that makes you happy, I'll do it. That's a bit crazy, but I like Alisa. She's Katie's a cool girl. Bird. She might be up and gone. That's probably. True. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad <laughs> to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros. Ew. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Everybody's seen it by now. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. Cool. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. 
So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I don't get it. Hmm. It's okay. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Eh. I don't know if it's Hello, Victoria, but okay. Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Wow. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Okay, what? Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Okay, let's go. Take a shower. Speak oh, to Kate. Uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. At shower. Shall we? What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. 
Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Oh. You're going to be sorry for that, Victoria. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. But first. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Hello? Water? Sorry. Sorry. I forgot. Rachel is a whore. Probably written by Victoria. Knowing her, that's probably too. Oh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Okay. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. True. Oh, I can turn the radio. Let's get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Keep calm and carry on. Don't know if you can carry on with that written on your wall. And... I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Where's the book? It's not going to end well. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. What have I, I told? this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. I Be knew gone, that was going to happen. Drink. Because Max... Oh, you book. You're mine. Now Max I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Yeah, basically. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Private number. A message on the wall. It's not good. How in the heck did you wrote two pages already? October 8. Hello world. I woke up this morning a different person. 
even if nobody knows yet, after yesterday, yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life among the other cray cray as Victoria might say say events at Blackwell I have to assume everything is different now and I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard after Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse but the local meteorologists are stumped so far I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on the on time and physics research. Not being Warren, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That has to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country ba back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor bragged in and totally start ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on li acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. Ooh. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. Yeah. I'm not already. Nope. No one is on. Don't disturb you. <laughs> don't be that. Don't be. Kate? Nice to her. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. This is not a good sign. Dark environment. A cloth over the mirror. No. Depression. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Not anymore. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Mom. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from the principal Wells about you in some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you have you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness, your mother. Oh. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. First son of depression. If you stop doing the things you love, that's depression. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. <laughs> Safe not sorry, no matter how much you like each other. One slip up can change your life. You have a choice. There's nothing wrong with wailing. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. 
Matthew 11:28 Come to me all you who are weary and uh, No. Look at the Bible. Kate even makes notes in her Read. Bible. My Come parents to me. never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. Okay. Can I don't know what to believe now. Come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, burdened and will give you rest. Okay. Proverbs 21:15. When justice is done, it brings joy to the right to the righteous, but terror to the evil evil doers. Whoa. Some hard stuff. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. That's not mm. nice to say. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Another sign of depression. Kate really has a doting father. In the light shines in the darkness. In the darkness comprehended it not. John 1 5. Kate, you will always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs in love, pop. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. So happy in this photo. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Huh? That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Let's take a photo. Left out damnation. Dear mm. Kate, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eyes. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Whoa. Good lord, this must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Poor Kate, she doesn't look good. And we haven't checked this photo yet. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Speak. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything? When David harassed me yesterday. I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. 
Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Probably and Nathan dread. Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh. Nathan Prescott? Nathan. Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Victoria, he's going to be oh, sorry. Max? Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Maybe the wood one is better. And I'm all messed up with keys. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. Okay, let's go back. And okay. Um, hey. Why didn't you do I want I thought he was Kate. Well, What about I can't I won't Thank you, Max You know I know Basically I'm done I didn't Okay You have to talk I swear to Not a I don't get I take a sip at church Did somebody I remember Go on Then Nathan He was being nice. He's the op 
All I recall. Go on. Somebody. Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up? Why? No, I'm just being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my door. So, who took? I have no idea. Jesus. How do I get? Kate. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Nope. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Okay, the first option was best one. So sorry guys about this. Want to prove Kate. Well he's a the what video won't I think Basic. This I, one. I, 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 Okay, that part is done. We drop the book. Go to the police. Yes. Skip everything. And well, I think this one is a better option. Sorry if I wasted your time. Now where's the end of the hall? It's over here. Chloe. Max. Food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast! No emoji. Chloe doesn't like emojis. Just saying that. Let's go out. And I'm out. Let's talk with Samuel because why not? The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. 
That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. Okay. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Release the Kraken. Come on, Kay. squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Let's take a picture of it, but first we have to... <laughs> Every time I walk. Hello. So cute. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Okay, my work here is done. Nope. The totem. Warren told me that totem is named Tobanga for a reason nobody knows. Tobanga. It's a cool name. It's actually a cool name. Again. This is Nathan's father. This me this is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. How is that polite? We have two more pages. God damn it, girl, you, <laughs> you like to write. The plot thickens, and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this distur disturbed. Sorry, guys. The fact that Nathan was in here, actually setting up this weird gallery, is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still have to give Kate Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo goth then. And Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in her express expressionist misery. Okay. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate considering what, what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal. I told Kate she should absolutely go to them, other people could be in danger. But Kate also said she would use me as her backup, which kind of scares me because of this text threat. Should I, should I be getting this involved when somebody is obviously stalking me or worse already? This is getting freakier than I can handle. Supermax, not. Okay. 
Max, check it out. Hey, hey, Warren. Warren. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call. I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Okay. Let's go to the bus. To Wales. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. 
can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, well, I sure need it. Things are pretty bad over here. Okay, Chloe. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Oh, I'm not going to read two more pages. That's going to be for the next episode. Running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Didn't get that, but okay. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. An R what? Obviously, nobody took my advice. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that! Stop! No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Yeah, something was. A bit weird with that. Okay, I move. God. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. <laughs> snow. Weather service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon this week. I don't think I have ever done a news voice that good. And please camera. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Ugh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading that Nothing Arcadia the summer. Day is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? You're unpleasant. Goodbye. Take a photo of it. That guy didn't even set a thing. It's crazy. Let's talk to the homeless. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. 
I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Bet you do. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. True. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. <laughs> no one likes David. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Get the truck. Hello. How do you do? Don't quite get that, but okay. Open the door and we are inside. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clangs. Now oh, that brings back memories. Halloween oh, Bazaar. The parade. 25th annual Happy Halloween. Okay. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. God. So unpleasant. Weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Don't know what that accent in the A was, but okay. Coming up at noon. K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. Is that it? <laughs> and you didn't even tell me the story. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious corners. Join the count the coasters all they see adventure. You've seen him on TV, read about him in the news. Now charter the legendary seaman for your own ocean voyage. Jack Curtis and his undersea world. A local captain, fisherman and marine expert with 30 years experience will take your group on a free hour tour of Arcadia Bay's Lodge and the exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, he will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Daily and week weekly excursion rates 75 to 125 dollars, I guess. For further details, please visit our website. Okay. Why does that so not sound fun? Mm. The other one 
think I it was. Make Chloe check this out with me. Sasquatch field trip. Explore the wild hoods of Arcadia. Bay with respected cryptozoologists Chuck Pierce Jr. Okay. Nice. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Kate Marsh, love you. Long time. Oh man. Flush before pissing on the floor. That graffiti has been here forever. <laughs> What's what does it say there? I I want to misbehave something like that. Gross. Okay. Firewalk with, with me? Yeah, firewalk with me. Arcadia Gay Sucks Deck. Thank you, Redneck Poet. T shirt. Look at it. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. A shirt looking like tourists? That's not an excuse. Dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello, you drunk? Sir. Your problem. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can, can be. be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Trucker? I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Rude. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. 
Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. And Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. That's the rule. So Girl, many good stuff. Everything. I'm hungry right now. Wall of Fame. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. It's cool. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Let's use this. Guitar tune. Sit. Chloe is about to enter, I think. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You what? took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So... Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh. And I'm um, a waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. 
So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <laughs> Lol. Inflation. A hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle is nerd well graffiti. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. Yeah. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> nope. It looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Order ready. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. And I here he comes on off rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Let me see the waffles. I'm drooling like a baby. Ooh. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh... Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. Put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Damn. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Hey, I put that in. Now that that's out of the way. That's better. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Skull? A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Oh. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study so. every item carefully and don't forget anything. Panda keychain. Three, four, five. Seven cigarettes. Hey, I don't know how to count pennies. Dang it. I guess it's 20, 40, 60. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C. Around 80 cents. And the parking ticket. 10, 34, 9, 2, 14. Okay. Guess I can do this now. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. 
You have keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. <laughs> Amazing. Something else in my pockets? A parking ticket? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. And money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Eighty-two cents. Eighty-two cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. You see my problem? That I don't know how to count epic that. fail. You even made me want to believe you. Guys, let me check online because I don't work it do with dollars. I work with euros, so I don't know how to count that, but... So uh, now what? US. No, no, I rewind time and. Wrote, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Where's the coins? Okay, I have the images. Now I know what what works what oh damn it. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? So you have seven cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. <laughs> We've seen Amazing. that. You have Your keys. No, wait. With a panda. I, not bad. You do have the a parking ticket at 10:44 a.m. Booyah! Even a broken clock and money. Hmm. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. And now, if I know correctly, and if my memory doesn't fail, I think you have. 25 cents. 25 if cents. You lose. Nope. Okay, it's 86. Girl. Let me show you what. My memory is not good. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, uh, 20. What? I really don't know how pennies work. Oh, wrong image. So it's this one. Yes, so 20, 20, 40, 40, 60, 60 plus 15, 75, 88, yeah. <laughs> the guys who s watch me from America We'll write, have scream at the screen already twice that it's 86 cents, but I haven't knew. I have to check it on Wikipedia. So this is 25 cents each. This one is 5 cents, and each one of these is one. So. Okay, let's do this again, because now I know it's 86 cents. It's the only thing that. Okay, Max. I don't like about international I, games. Yes, <laughs> I don't know how their kinds work. Amazing. Your 
Like, you do have I know a dollar, it's worth 80 something cents, but it's the cents from the euros, not from the dollars, not the same. Cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Up. You know, like 86 cents for me is like 10:34 a.m. Booyah! Max 60 time. cents, 50 maybe. It's the problem with currency. Amaze balls! I literally just got chills all over my neck. Mm. When you realize you the powers. truth. Take that crap off the table, the, Chloe. Of course she has bombs. Sure, Mom. <laughs> so many stuff. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. With 86 cents, you can. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it. I'm finishing it. What's that? That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Alright, you know what happens, so... I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Trucker drops his The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? It was yes it was No. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Stops them and stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy. Has the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's now see I if everything happens like you said. Here comes Joyce. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, way really? To go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> And there's a cockroach. On the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, really? Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. 
see what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Uh, as funny as that sounds, uh, I think right now I'm going to end the episode here and I catch you guys with the part 2 of it next week. So I hope you uh, that everyone has enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to drop a like, comment down below if you are enjoying this series and uh, if you want to see more. Also, don't forget, Saturday, that meaning the day after this episode drops at 10 a.m. British Summertime, my vlog at Motor Classic Festival will be up. I've seen some crazy ass cars. Uh, I've done, done some pretty cool stuff there, so it will be free parts vlogs. So, free Saturdays until the end of the month. I yeah, until the end of the month there will be free vlogs, all separate, all edited, all cool and stuff. The best I can do because I'm not a professional, but make sure to stay tuned for that too. Also, share this video with all of your friends so they can enjoy it too. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell for new content on this channel. So, I see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>